Hello, my name's Emma. I'm an education advisor for Yorkshire Water. And I'm going to show you today how you could clean some mucky water like this up at home yourself. And as you can see, I've come into the garden so that um, I don't make a mess inside my house. So to start with, you need to actually get some dirty water. So I've put some soil in some water, giving it a good mix. And then you can also add to there some more solid rubbish, as if this was a river flowing down, picking up debris along the way. Some leaves, some twigs, some sticks, perhaps some, some little stones, and then maybe even some man-made rubbish, a piece of plastic, something like that. So here's my water, my river, flowing along, picking up debris on its way. Now the first stage in the filtration is obviously going to be to get those larger pieces out. So for that, I've actually bought my sieve from the kitchen. So I'm going to pop that on top of this container and really carefully give my water a good mix and pour it through the sieve. And you can see that the sieve catches the larger pieces. So I've got in here my plastic and my leaves and twigs and stones, but that the smaller particles have gone through and the water is still looking rather mucky. In order to remove these smaller particles, we're going to need to use a filter. And you're going to have a go at making that yourself at home. So I've made my filter using a plastic bottle, which I've cut in half. And then I've actually made some, a couple of holes in the lid using some scissors that I carefully poke through the lid. Pop the lid back on and assemble your filter like this. Okay. Now we need to build up some layers in this filter to catch the particles and to clean the water. I'm going to build the layers up from fine layers to more coarse layers at the top. And you can use all sorts of things at home. I'm going to start with some cotton wool, if you've got some, or maybe some tissue as my bottom layer. I'm going to poke that in and push that right down into the bottom of my filter. Okay, I then found some feathers in my garden. They're quite fine particles. I'm going to put them in. They'll be able to trap some pieces. And then I've got some moss. Now sand would be a good thing to use if you've got some sand. We actually use sand to filter the water at Yorkshire Water. But I don't have any sand, so my moss is going to act as a fine filter there. On top of there, I've got some small stones or gravel, and I'm going to pour those on top. And they will also trap some of the dirt as it passes through the filter those on the top like so. Okay, so we'll now take our water, give it a mix and pour it through your filter. Pour it onto the stones at the top and through the filter and let's have a look at what comes through. Now remember this is what we had to start with, I've got one still from earlier, and look at what we've got now. That water has been filtered. It's not good enough to drink, there will still be some dissolved substances in there, there will still be some microorganisms in there, but the layers in your filter you can see have trapped some of the finer particles. Now at Yorkshire Water we would go on to sterilise this water and carry out further filtration before we send it out to your homes as drinking water. So please don't drink your water that you managed to clean today. You might decide you want to pour it through again and see if you can make it even cleaner, or you might decide you want to adjust and improve some of your layers in your filter, try out some different materials and see if you can make your water even cleaner. But do have a go with your filters at home. And if you want to share any with us, you can do that on our social media platforms at Yorkshire Water. And I look forward to seeing some of your filters. Bye.